I know you did say the fact that tickets will go, advance tickets will go on sale on Wednesday. Right. If not tomorrow, it'll be uh, Wednesday. They can come up to the school office and get those, mm-hmm. and there'll be a six dollars. So it'll be a dollar cheaper if you get them early. So you can beat that line in uh, on uh, Friday night. Not only beat the line, but make sure you can get into the game. Get there, right. could, there could oh, be yeah. enough people in there to where you can't take anymore. Exactly. Yeah. They, yeah, I mean, to give you an example of that, the other big game that we had a couple of weeks ago when you had uh, East Duplin and uh, Wallace Rose Hill, um, we had to turn people away. Mm. Uh, so you, you got to get there early, especially when it comes to big games like this. Looking at our standings real quick, when you look at the uh, 3A standings, uh, Coach, right now, as you said earlier, you've got, um, of course, always up in the top, Lee County, they're number one. Then you've got uh, uh, Western Alamance, Clayton, um, coming in New Hadley, we're sitting at number seven. Then you got Havelock, and of course, they're ranked number 12, they're sitting at five and one. Uh, also at 16 is going to be Jacksonville at five and one. And of course, the surprise is West Carteret, ranked number 20 at five and one. Then Swansboro coming in at uh, 24 at five and one. You know, so one of the things, look at those standings, the fact that coming out of uh, non conference play, kind of determines how you come out in the standings as far as win, loss is concerned. Or everything else is taken out of, out of the picture, just how many you won and how many you lost. And that's how they basically come up with the standings. But I think coming up, um, starting uh, this this Friday, is that uh, once we go into conference play, things are going to change. Well, yeah, it, it will. Like, we got the big game with Jacksonville. I think uh, Havelock has uh, West Carteret, and uh, Swansboro has White Oak. So, uh those those stands that shake up a little bit, I, I think, and and uh, I was talking to the kids on Friday when we were sitting at the Duke Miami game, and they asked me what we ranked. I said, I think right now we're around 40th. I said, but it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. We weren't ranked last year, you know, in the top 10 going into the playoffs. We beat four teams in the top 10 mm-hmm. and went to state championship. So they're ranking it, 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 it. It's an opinion. It's everybody's opinion. Everybody got an opinion. If you know, if you think somebody's number one or number two, that's that's up to you. And somebody else may think somebody else is is number one. You know, and, and right now I, I think that we're right where everybody wants us to be, and we, we like it. We're flying under the radar, and, mm-hmm. and like I said, I hope teams come in sleeping on us, and, and they will get woke up pretty quick. Well, it's going to be a fantastic game Friday night, Jacksonville Northside. You know, Coach. Uh, one important note on the Jacksonville Northside game is. Although it is a very important game and a very important inner city game, doesn't really mean that the conference is decided after one game as right. you have to play every team in your conference. So as important as we say this game is, doesn't mean for either team that a loss takes them out of uh, consideration for the conference championship. I think the game uh, still has a lot of just uh, bragging rights, if you will. And that, mm-hmm. You know, it's just this year the bragging rights are probably second to being a, a conference game. That's the first time that it has been. So, a very important game this Friday. We're looking forward to it. Coach, I don't think uh, you're any longer a guest on our show. I think you're one of the uh, <laughs> one, <laughs> I think of the you're one of the hosts now <laughs> of the show. Is, and we appreciate you always coming on the show and, and giving us insight. And It's just been a lot of fun you know, last year leading into this year uh, watching the Monarchs grow and your philosophy has has worked. So we'll see getting in the conference play. The numbers don't mean anything. There's 48 minutes of football to play against every conference team. And that's what's going to decide, of course, who wins the conference. Uh, we're not going to decide it. The newspaper's not going to decide it. Max um, the stats aren't going to decide it. Max Preps is not going to decide it. Exactly. And realistically, the coaches probably aren't even going to decide it. The, the kids on the field are going to decide that. And you can't count the Monarchs down. That's going to be a mistake. For anybody to count the Monarchs out, I said that my uh, thoughts for the game coming up against Jacksonville is going to come down to special teams. And the reason I say that, the teams know each other very well. 